Welcome to Puddle Jumpers RC. Today's video is going to be just a uh, body upgrade or bashing body for my Gen 8. This is my Gen 8. Normally it has My scalp body on it Okay But it was start, you know I do a lot of hardcore climbing in the rocks and in the quarry and stuff in the pits and it was starting to get pretty beat up So I thought uh, what could I do? You know get a body that was cheap so what I did was I got a Gen 7 body and ordered it because I had my other Gen 7 body and my other Gen 7 body fit. It fits on there. I put the pins in it, marked them out, drilled them out, you know, put some stickers on her. But I think it fits pretty good. Actually, I had to cut out the back a little bit. Trim the front right here, trim out through here a little, and I had to uh, trim out here in the back around here to open it up. But uh, this body right here cost me like, uh, I don't know, $27 off of eBay or something like that, or $28 was shipping, and uh, it was already painted silver, so I really don't care. If this thing gets pounded and beat up, this is going to be my bashing, you know, climbing, beating body. And as you can see, I put my other bumper on that I had. I had a spare bumper that I had ordered for my Gen 7. And I've got it pushed all the way in. And the only thing that is protruding out of this body is it looks like a little bit of like a like a splash guard for the fender which is part of the inner fenders okay so i move these in stock this thing hangs out right about here okay so right about there that's with my uh with with my um, scalp body so it's probably about an inch and a half two inches so the approach angle now or departure angle is crazy now it goes right up to there I also added some beadlock rims to it and just a little warning on these boggers or any other kind of tire I put them on my red cat rims and I ran them on there and my red cat rims have a wider beadlock slot so what happened was it squashed down the beadlocks where they go into the regular rims and when it squashed them down it uh, made them fatter so I couldn't get them in and it actually stretched out one of my tires so I had to buy another set of tires so I could put a new tire on I couldn't get this one to seal I actually ripped it trying to get it to seal but anyways I think it looks pretty cool uh, I may have to tune the suspension down a little bit because the body's so light now but I'll take the pins off and I'll show you because this is the quickest way that I could figure out how to uh, do a, a quick change I sprayed uh, uh, undercoating inside. Some of it's already scraped off, but I sprayed it in there just to give it a little bit more durability. So, and of course I got the Punisher. And I think I'm gonna name this body Silverback because this thing looks mean on here. But anyways, the posts that come with the truck, all I did was take body pins and I just body pinned in the posts. 
and you know they they move a little bit there's a little bit of movement there but if i want to change back to my uh gen my gen 8 scout all i have to do is just pull these pins slide these body posts out and take the two screws out of the bumper here in the rear and slide this bumper out slide my other bumper in that i have that i modified for uh for my scout because it doesn't have the receiver hitch on it and i'm in business so i think it came out pretty damn good for what i was trying to accomplish it's just uh like i said it's a cheap body it's just a beater body and I've got these holes right here on this thing. I've got them so close and so tight that they're actually kind of a pain in the butt to get on. But as far as uh, holding the body on there, man, they, they work really good. So, and uh, the body stays on there. And like I said, these things are so damn close. I've got them, the holes so close that you got to actually struggle to get the stupid thing to go on there. But once it goes on, it's on there nice and tight. There's no play hardly at all. So anyways, that's it right there. I got some stickers on there. And... I did put a for sale sign on it, but I don't think I'm going to sell it yet. But, uh, anyways, that's my basher body, you know, kind of like, I don't really, you know, I don't care if it gets beat up. All right, man. Well, that's my uh, body upgrade for my Gen 8. Thanks for watching, and keep our seeing, man.